So we want to know how it is that we can, can we really determine what's going on in the body and really know that, that energy is functioning and see that we're accessing it simply. Now, we think we do that with muscle testing and there are ways to show whether the energy is functioning well or not. But I've got here a magnet. And this is a, this is a magnet in an old mustard jar. And uh, it's just rattling around in there. And what we can demonstrate is that although glass is an incredibly good insulator, uh, in fact, if you've ever looked up at high voltage cables running through the countryside, you've seen around the, uh, at the end where the, where the pylons are, you'll see a series of discs and often they'll be clear. They're clear because they're made of glass. And glass is an extremely good insulator uh, of electricity, which prevents, uh, if you touch the insulator, nothing would happen to you uh, because the insulator would insulate the current from coming into your body. And you might think that that would insulate the magnetism also. But in fact, I'd like to show you that magnetism is not stopped, blocked, or otherwise prevented from moving through an insulator. Here is a paper clip. Not very easy to do, as you can see it. Okay, so if I take this paper clip and I put it here, um, you know that if the magnet was outside the glass, then it would attract a, a lot of paper clips. But this isn't a very strong magnet. But nevertheless, it holds on to that paper clip, just like that. And it doesn't matter where I put the paper clip, it'll hang on just like that. So electromagnetic energy is not blocked by glass or any other uh, means of, of insulation. Now in kinesiology, we make use of this information because people see us do it. They think, oh, that, that's nonsense or that's magic or whatever. But we can take um, a, a pot of vitamins. And uh, in fact, uh, perhaps you could pick one up over there. Yeah, anyone would do. No. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. So, Thank you. Um, so here we here we have a vitamin, and you may if, if you ever consult a kinesiologist or if you ever uh, watch a uh, presentation like this, uh, and you go to a talk or somebody showing you uh, what uh, we can do with kinesiology, they will demonstrate possibly that um, the, the nutritional benefits of the vitamins will either show or not show. Even if you just put the uh, pot of, uh, against the cheek or maybe just on the throat here. And somebody seeing that for the first time, they, well, that's impossible. You know, how, how can the energy uh, proceed from there out through the plastic, which is an insulator? And how can this be read, in inverted commas, by testing a muscle to see whether the muscle is strengthened or not? Uh, or even weakened by uh, the proximity of this inside the aura. Now, if, as long as it is away from the aura, then there's no effect. Whereas if it's very close to the aura, then the body starts to read it, which is quite a phenomenon in itself. Uh, and as it reads it, the body can determine the person, the body of the person can determine whether that vitamin would be nutritious and beneficial for them or not. Now, a lot of people in other professions, particularly the scientifically based professions, think this is absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense, yeah, ridiculous. And they will make claims, they make claims, I say, that um, nutritional supplements are a waste of money. Uh, in fact, nutritional supplement, supplements can do you harm. Uh, all right, are they right or wrong? 
Well, they're both. Because um, if, if you have a vitamin or a mineral that's badly produced, has no life force energy in it, has hardly any of the active principle in it, uh, is not really a genuine article as far as the health supplement is concerned, then a professional who's scientifically based wouldn't be able to tell the difference. They wouldn't be able to say, well, that's a good one, that's a bad one. Well, it's wonderful that we, in working with kinesiology, can uh, use one of these tools like muscle testing, and we can ascertain absolutely with confidence, with absolute knowledge, that if there is a clear beneficial change in the strength of a muscle or an organ or a related organ, when the uh, nutrition is put into the circuit, as we say, then there's no question that it's beneficial. If, on the other hand, that substance is put into the circuit and there's clearly not a benefit coming there, but it reduces or disturbs the energy in some way, then we would know that it would be futile to give that supplement or to suggest that that person might take that supplement because it wouldn't do anything for them at all. Now, speaking as I do from 43 years experience, of working with tens of thousands of people, making tens or hundreds of thousands of tests. Uh, unless it's my imagination, <laughs> which it isn't, so many of those people uh, obtained a huge benefit from being able to take supplements that were good for them. They also obtained a huge benefit from having their energies balanced with the tools of kinesiology that we have. Because whatever we find in, in our consultation or in our working with a client, whatever we find that is an imbalance, we can correct there and then. Now, does that mean a problem is solved? Does that mean we've effected a cure? No, it doesn't. But what it does mean, it's like, um, before I sat down here, I combed my hair, because my hair was all over the place, uh, and so I, I brushed it, because that's the decent thing to do. So when we, when we work with people's energies, if you like, their energy is all over the place. It looks like they've just slept badly in their energies, and they're all fuzzy and uncomfortable, and producing fuzzy and uncomfortable results in their life, making them hurt perhaps, or feel confused, or dizzy, or uh, lack strength in their muscles, or whatever. But if we brush and comb the energies of the body, which we can do with, with some of the uh, ways we deal with people, they can absolutely notice the difference immediately. In fact, uh, I go as far as to say that 90% of the people who used to come to my clinic uh, over the years, 90% of them left the clinic after an hour feeling so much better 